We saw this week that both the Patriots and Seahawks are loose, they're relaxed, they're not uptight, they're not letting any of the distractions or the hoopla surrounding the Super Bowl get to them. They are both focused on playing the biggest game of their lives on Sunday. The Patriots have more stress on them because they're trying to overcome the deflate gate situation. They really want to win the Super Bowl, give Tom Brady and Coach Bill Belichick their fourth Super Bowl together and show the world that deflated footballs really has nothing to do with the outcome of how they perform on the field. Both Richard Sherman and Earl Thomas are healthy. Sherman's elbow, Earl Thomas's shoulder have not been an issue. Of course, if either one of them is still hampered by the injury, they weren't going to let us know that this week. As for Richard Sherman's pregnant girlfriend, if she should go into labor two weeks early, he has Coach Carroll's permission to go be with his pregnant girlfriend for the delivery of their baby boy. However, we don't anticipate that happening on Super Bowl Sunday. This game will come down to whether or not the New England Patriots can establish a running game with LeGarrette Blunt and allow Tom Brady to open up the passing game and a passing attack going against that vaunted Legion of Boom secondary that the Seahawks have. On the opposite side, the New England Patriots defense has a tough task trying to contain Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch, especially when they run the zone read play. Whoever wins that battle is going to win the game. I anticipate this game being close, coming down to a fourth quarter, one possession game, and perhaps decided by a kicker. The Patriots have won Super Bowls in the past on the leg of Adam Vinatieri. They could do it again this week on Sunday.